Hi everybody, I'm Jen Birch, co-founder and co-inventor of Hightail Hair, and today I'm gonna to show you how to mount your Hightail to your helmet. So let's take a look at what I have on display here. First off is a Hightail all packaged up, and then here is one that I've cut earlier, so I'm just gonna place this over there. And then this is the frame and the hair pocket. You have your two mounting clips. These come actually on the Hightail, so you'll have to slide those off. You have the spacer, your instructions or the new QR code like this, your primer ampule. And then I've added my rubbing alcohol, some tape, a bunch of pieces of tape over here that I've already cut, which is really handy, scissors and microfiber, but you could also just use paper towels. You wanna have one of the two with you. Okay, I also have, of course, the helmet that I'm gonna be installing them to. So you're gonna to wanna to have your helmet as well. And then this is a travel pillow and you may also have one of these completely optional. You don't need to have this, but I do find that it is a handy helmet rest and just makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so let's talk first about Primer. Primer now comes with all of our products and the reason why is because it more than doubles the bond between the adhesive and your helmet. So we suggest using it on all installations now because it makes it that much stronger and overall is going to give you a better experience with your Hightail. The next thing I want to talk about is clip placement. So you're going to, going to want to take a look at your helmet and decide where you want to place the clips before you start doing anything else. And if you have any confusion about where the best place for them is going to be, please contact customer care at hightailhair.com and they'll look at your photos. They can look at the helmet model and make a best recommendation. Now, what you're looking for when you're looking at your own helmet is where is the flattest place to put the clips. This has a nice trim, but it's a bit rounded, so I'm actually gonna place the clip up on the hard shell because it's gonna lay nice and flush against the helmet like that. Now, the most important part of the mounting clip to get firm and flat against the helmet is are these two tabs closest to the helmet face. So these two tabs take all the tension from the elastic. So again, they need to be nice, firm, and flush against the helmet surface. So now that I know where I'm gonna place the clips, the next thing I'm gonna do is clean the helmet. I'm gonna grab my microfiber and also my rubbing alcohol and just put a little bit of that on there. Okay. We recommend cleaning the helmet, even if it's brand new, that way if there's any films or residue, you just make sure to get them all off. And like I like to say, it's better to be safe than sorry. So that's ready to go now. And then I'm going to grab the spacer. And this is what my tape is for. I'm gonna tape the spacer onto the helmet. So I'm going to grab my pre-cut pieces of tape, put them on there. You just want to make sure to center the spacer in the middle rear of your helmet. And then also you don't want to put any tape in these spots because that's where your mounting clips are going to be going. I'm going to put an extra piece to be safe. Now, I want to put a little bit more tape on the helmet and I'll tell you why, because I am going to prime this space with, with the primer and I don't want the primer to go everywhere. So I'm going to mark off the end. The trim is gonna be the bottom edge. So I don't, on this helmet, I don't need to tape that out. On your helmet, you actually may wanna tape that out. It, it depends, but I am also gonna be put tape along the top again so I know exactly where to put my primer and I don't get it all over the place so that now looks like that I am also going to go ahead and have my microfiber laid out because you do want and you can use the paper towel again some place to put the primer once the primer is already flowing through it so that it won't damage the surface that you're working on okay 
The next step is to use a primer and you will see that it has a little black circle and you're going to press quite firmly on that. There is a little glass bead inside that we need to break and you will hear it go. So looks like that and then give it a second so that it flows to the applicator. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the helmet surface like this. It's a nice even coat. It is quite strong smelling. So being in a ventilated space is a good idea. And then I'm going to sit that there. Now, a lot of people think that this is a glue and it works quite differently. For a glue, usually you want to hurry up and put, you know, something right on top of it before it dries. This is actually the opposite. You want to let it dry for two minutes and then we're going to put the adhesive on top of that. So I need a two minute timer, please. And then we'll come back. Okay, the two minutes are done and now it is time to put the adhesive on. Gonna go ahead and take the red liner off just like that and I like to start right up against the spacer and then I'm going down right above the trim like that and then once you get it on you want to press nice and hard for 10 seconds to get that to bond together. You can look from the side and just make sure that it's going nice and flat up against that helmet surface. Okay, that's looking really good to me. The next thing to do is repeat the process on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. All right, my other clip is done. It looks like that. I think it looks fantastic. And there's a couple of other things that I wanna to talk to you about real quick. So I wanna let that sit and cure for 72 hours. You can still use your helmet like you normally would, just don't attach the frame to it yet. So 72 hours, that's what 3M recommends and you'll be good to go. The other thing is that after a ride, we recommend unclipping one side of your hightail or you can take the whole thing off and store it inside your helmet if you'd like. And the reason why it's to preserve the elastic on your hightail and also to give the adhesive a rest as well. So it's quite a bit of tension that the elastic puts on the device, but that is also what keeps your hair into it and has it work out. And other than that, we hope you love using your hightail and happy riding. Bye.